All right, I am in the F-150 and this truck should have an advantage up here because it has not one but two turbos and that definitely helps make up for the lack of air density up here. So gentlemen, which of you two wants to drive the Ford? I do. I All right, do. Mr. Truck, <laughs> go for it. Once again, into the I gauntlet. Up the hill. We decided to up the towing load to 10,000 pounds because, well, 8,000 pounds in the Ike Gauntlet wasn't quite cutting it. We wanted this to be a true test of the truck's power, and a run up the Ike Gauntlet at 60 miles an hour was improving much. Now, we do realize that this does exceed the towing capacity of some of these trucks, but many owners will, on a regular basis, overestimate the amount that their trucks can tow. Return of the turbo. Indeed, this is the EcoBoost. 3.5 liter it puts out 365 horsepower but more importantly 420 pound feet of torque it's hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission and as it sits it can tow a maximum of 9600 pounds so we're going to go over its ability as well but i am positive this is going to do well looks like it's at about just over 54 inches about 54 and a half One inch, it's down to about 53 and a half. Gentlemen, we are almost at the bottom of the Ike Gauntlet and we are in the Ford F-150 EcoBoost. Yes. And you are driving it, of course, Kent. <laughs> Mr. Truck is behind his EcoBoost truck. So this one has a built-in trailer sway con the brake control. Yeah, yeah, brake controller. Been doing too much trailer sway testing, and you haven't had to touch it. No, it's. Uh, I adjust about five on the gain, and it's balancing the trailer out really well. We're not over braking the trailer. We're not over braking the truck. So now, Nathan, you were a little white knuckled coming down this way in the Titan. Well, they're significantly different vehicles in terms of what they're set up for. Now, granted, we're still over tasking this vehicle. It doesn't seem to be bothered at all by the trailer. Хорошо, я приготовил. Приготовил нормально. Oh, oh, that was a little bit of ABS lock up there. Yeah. Uh oh, he uh -oh. looks. He said, "Ooh, I wonder what that means." What Ooh. is it, Andre? Gericho. Six seventeen. Oh, it's pretty hot it's in the front. Hot. Put the car park. Park, well, that's park, ABS. Park, park, park. Park, 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 park. Either that or I lost all my springs on the <laughs> rotor. What's the back? 372. Wow. Uh, so the front end's been getting beaten up. Yeah, let's see what the trailer. Yeah, and I didn't think I was even breaking that much. But it I didn't guess. feel like it. Did yeah. It? It, it's, and guys, it's a real test, the icon it. It's about as steep and deep as it's going to get. Yeah, when you're pushing 10,000 pounds, it, it's harder than the brakes. It, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, we're pushing these uh, half tons, gentlemen. All right, here we go. On the here trailer. we go. What is it? Not trailer. Look, 78. So about wow, right. Yeah. We're about there. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, we've gone down. What's next, Nathan? Time to go up the hill. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, here we are at the Ike Gauntlet 2.0. Nathan, you ready to start the stopwatch? Yeah, oh, we're getting wheel spin. Oh, we're wheel spin. We're small okay. spin. Yeah. Right now, Nathan. All right. All right, wide open throttle, solo DL is set up. Let's see how long it takes us to reach 60. If we reach 60. Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Hold on, get okay. ready. Well, we're 55, and I'm going to have to go into the fast lane because we're just not getting enough room. Okay, we're, once again, we're being slowed down just like we been. were. We would have hit 60 already. We would have hit 60 already. Same problem we had when we were driving the Titan. Yep. I'm at 60 now. That is <laughs> You're already at 60, huh? Yeah. Well, the part of this gauntlet that gets tough is about a mile into it. It's eight miles going from Silverthorne, Colorado. Okay. All the way up to... I'm going 70 now. All right. right. Yeah, don't, don't yeah. go 70. 
<laughs> so the okay, truck, okay. the truck is having no problems so far. So far, yeah. but we're not in the steep part. How about now? I'm doing 65. If that's what you want me to do, I'm doing a little under 65. All right. Falling back to 62. Are you wide open throttle now? Yep. All right. That's what we want. We want wide open throttle because we want. I'm, I'm gonna hit 70 again if I can stay there. I'm at 66. Don't exceed 70, but keep it keep it wide open as long as you can until. Well, we'll be 70. going 80 miles an hour pretty soon because I'm already hitting 70. All right. Wait. wait it'll get of, steep. It'll get steep. Well, I'm gonna run out of. All right. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> I got two places to go and I'm running out of room. No, no just fine. We're fine. Don't worry. It's. Like I said, the first mile of the gauntlet is not necessarily all that steep. It's now that we're starting to inch into the steep part. Yeah, see, I can, I mean, this is easy. All this right. is 60 miles an hour. All right, see if you can maintain it now that it's starting to get steeper. That's the question. I love this truck, but there is a problem. Allow me to show you. See that? See that step? Whoa! So... I, I can't, yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck right now. You can, you can talk even behind the door. Did you get that on video? <clears throat> Strange. There is something about the Ford. I love this vehicle, but here's a problem. Okay, I'm just around 6'1". Sometimes I open this thing up and look down, look down there. See this? It's whacked my ankle like a dozen times and it really, really hurts. It's definitely know, working a lot harder than last time. Yeah, yeah, 10,000 pounds. We're at 3,000 over last time, so. Are you in tow home on, by half. the way? Oh, there you go. Where am I? There it is. It disappears. There it there goes. There it goes. All right, now you have it floored. Now we're working. Now the 10,000 pounds. 300 RPM. Yeah, now it's starting to work a little bit. Okay, we're gonna get to 60 though. Yeah, keep it forward. 59 miles an hour. Yeah, uh -huh, that's what I thought. Is it creeping up? Not yep, much. We're at 60. Keep it going. Keep it wide open throttle up this part. 61. That's okay. And these people just keep slowing down in front of me. You got crowded. nobody in front of you. Keep well, it going. I, I can see me coming into the, the tail end of that truck. He's looking far ahead. <laughs> looking uh, you're looking far ahead. <laughs> you got your commercial truck driver's license. Yeah, I want to make sure that I've got yeah. a run runway here. Yeah. And this fast Ford. This is fast. It is incredible how well this is doing. Now, keep yeah, in mind. I'm 64 miles an hour. And we are in the fast, fast lane. lane. Yes. Keep in mind the Ike Gauntlet starts at about 10,000 feet and goes all the way up to about 12,000 feet. And by the time we get to the top, we've lost about 30% air density, which really translates to 30% uh, 65 miles an hour. horsepower. All right. And not in this case because we're running a twin turbocharged engine. And which makes cold, up for some of it. Yes, yeah, cold day. Right. We have a natural intercooler besides the intercooler that Ford provides. Two turbos. Yes, and two intercoolers. Two intercoolers. Natural and one Ford made. 65 miles an hour, my goodness, I need more runway here. You guys get out of the way. <laughs> 10,000 pounds is nothing for this little puppy. Yeah, but look at your fuel economy. 2.9. Yeah, well, what, what, which do you want, power or fuel economy? <laughs> it's gonna... I'm pulling a trailer, I don't care about fuel economy, I can get to the top of that hill. Exactly. Oh, is that a steep trail right there? I think 60 that's... miles an hour, let's see if I can hold that around this curve. I think, can. I think commercial truck drivers do care about fuel economy. Yeah, they probably do. Yeah. Well, they do. <laughs> by the way, we <laughs> listen to radio. By the way, we hit 60 and uh, check it out, 41 seconds. So that's the new standard, 41.19 seconds to get to 60. Are you floored? I'm floored. And you're we're, just we're, just, we're more just than 60, probably 62 miles an hour. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, which we're, lane we're, has the most room? These guys aren't going fast enough. We're, we're keeping up with traffic, guys. It's but okay. We're still in the fast lane, so this is the fast lane track. This is unlike the type to where we were nowhere near the fast lane. <laughs> hey, you know what? We were hitting 60 in a couple spots. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's because we were all kind of going. No, it was because <laughs> Roll, roll, roll your boat. Does it flatten out? <laughs> Shall we check the... Look at this. I'm passing all these cars. Shall we check the decibel level, gentlemen? Here we go. It is a little bit more quiet than the... Uh, and that's at 3,900 RPM. Too. Yeah, we're, we're at about averaging, I'd say, right around 66, 67. And so this is a very quiet truck. Ford does a great job of keeping the uh, engine and road noise to a minimum. 
Now, I like the inside of the F-150 Kent. I think it's uh, modern, I think it's butch, I think it's masculine, and I think it's elegant. It's a hard thing to pull off. There are some cheap materials though, wouldn't you agree? Yes, I think it's the most copied interior. I love the stitching. We look at the red stitching on the dash, on the, the steering wheel. Hot, the brake control is where it should be. The only thing I have against this is the fan control. I think it should be a knob. I'm trying to figure out pushing buttons on the fan control is something I don't like. But I, it's the most copied interior. Now this here cracks me up on the Super Duty Ford. They actually lowered the, the window down like a semi so you can see more of the mirror. On the F-150, this would have happened clear back in 2004, they actually raised the, the ledge up to make it look like they lowered it when they went the other direction. So you actually have a smaller glass. You know what, I do like that raised ledge though because you could put your arm on it. <laughs> it is comfortable. So it's a little high for me, but yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. But no, it's a, it's a nice interior, it's very functional. You got a good sized windshield, you got great, I mean this is the moonroof. Moonroofs used to steal about two and a half inches from me. This has got room for a hat. Yeah, you got you a couple hat if you wanted to. Yes, that's where I'd be wearing it. Now I get steep again. You're gonna lose momentum and here you are back to 60 well, pretty quickly. Like we talked about this compared to other trucks, the full torque on this is 2,500 RPMs right off an idle. It's like a diesel. So when you got torque that starts in that low, you, your power band for acceleration when your horsepower kicks in is unreal. That's what this is. This shows you what that low RPM it's torque It's got a really does. flat torque curve too. It's yeah, just, it sticks it all the way up. It looks so much like a diesel with yeah. a torque curve. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. We're 60 miles an hour heading uphill. Yeah, the, the fact is that uh, this engine is just incredibly powerful. Yeah, it's incredibly it's powerful. Very impressive. It's 10,000 pounds doesn't even know it's back there. Well, it's I can feel it. It's, it's, can you feel it? I can feel it, yeah. I think it knows it's back there. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling it now. Yeah. As it get, as I'm over get, 60. As we get higher, it gets we're steeper. <laughs> we're flying by the semis. We are. We are flying by the semis. Of course, we're also getting 2.9 miles to the gallon. 64 miles an hour, and I can tell you. I'm, that's pretty high average on this for the whole run. Is your foot way down? I'm, I'm all the way. I'm wide open throttle. All right, Nathan, what, did, what are we doing in terms of time? Six minutes, 24 seconds. Wow. wow. So we're going to probably come pretty close. To the previous. We just yeah. were under like eight minutes last time, so I'll be curious to see if we do go under eight minutes. Well, that right. was last time with this truck. Right. right. We were with the uh, Titan. It was a little bit slower. Yeah, nine Four minutes minute. and eight seconds. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, Ford in the reconfiguration rates this at 11,300 for twin capacity. And, you know, this is uh, this is less because the configuration. My goodness. It's working hard, though. Well, we're at 4,000, right under 4,000 RPM. Yeah. Are we almost to the end? We're almost to and the I'm end. I'm 65 really? miles an hour. You're almost to the end. It gets wow. it gets steeper though still. At the well, very end, it really kicks up. What happens if I go through the finish line at 60 miles an hour with 10,000 pounds? What's that know. say? We'll say that this is one powerful <laughs> truck and the Chevy is going to have to work pretty hard to keep up with it. And I've had to do a lot of lane change just to have enough runway in yeah. front of me. Look at this. All right, here we go. It's slowing down though at the top here. 61 miles an hour. Watch out. Truck, 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 truck. Truck. Oh! All right, it's going slowing, 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 and here comes the end, 60. Nathan. I'm over 60. Here we go, here comes the end of the Ike Gauntlet, and ready, not yet, Nathan, now! What's the verdict, dude? <laughs> Seven minutes, 36 seconds. <laughs> that is faster than last time. Really, faster than the smaller trailer? Yeah, yeah, because last time we didn't exceed the six. Of course, it was 60 warmer. Mile. It was warmer last time. It was warmer, but we didn't exceed the sixty yeah. miles an hour, and this That's time true. we didn't we exceed it. We're gonna find out now, Nathan, what the Silverado, which does have more torque, right? Yeah. But. There is also no turbos on that truck. That's right. Right, and its peak torque is at 4,100 RPMs, way up there. So while we have more torque and more horsepower, the altitude's gonna affect it more. So I'll be curious to see how it does up the icon. What do you guys think? You think it's gonna be faster or slower than this? Or I the same? It's gonna be close. It's very close. It I think should it's, be it's very gonna close. be very close. I think the, the last mile or two of the icon is really gonna bite into the uh, naturally aspirated, normally aspirated engine. All right, that's coming up next time on the Fast Lane Truck. As always, this is Nathan and Kent. MrTruck.com, check them out. And Rowan saying thanks for watching. And remember, come back next time when we take the most powerful truck in the land up the Ike Gauntlet. Ciao.
All right, Nathan, here come the lights. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Right about now. Woo. Yep, yep, shifted uh, what's the, the number? Line. Wow, that's all I can say. Wow. <laughs>